Hello, Zansi. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of A Gay Ball. And boy, oh boy, do we not have plenty to get through today. Later on, we'll be discussing KFC licenses and those that celebrate getting their KFC licenses with a special guest in the list with Mugzwa That's later on in the show. Keep in mind, we'll also have the legendary Joey Skosana in the second segment of the show, talking about all things local in our game. And to start things off, I got Shane McGregor. And Shane, we've got plenty to talk about for the start of football out in England and as far as the Premier League. And, well, let's start by talking about some of the movements. This way in that um, some of the major teams, those that are in contention, and any signings that maybe have raised an eyebrow or two with you. You see, I've got a big smile on my face. Yeah, yeah. The league is back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let's chat. You know, start with my team mm. and our support. Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. No players in. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not too sure what's going on. I know they've been bidding for a player. They've gone back with rebid. Nothing's happened. So yeah. No players in. You know, people. Uh, I heard uh, one of the, the ex-Man United guys uh, having a go. They're saying that they're not going to end up in the top six this year. Well, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. But not a good start when you're not buying any players in. Uh, but we'll see. You know? I have to ask you this quickly on Liverpool. I had the feeling last season they were a little unlucky, maybe in the striking department. Nunes maybe was the one area of concern, yeah. but they were building nicely. There's still some youngsters coming in. Don't you think it's a case of continu continuing on from where you left off from the club era? I think so, and I think that's going to be obviously the new coach has come in slot, and he's got to have a look at it and see where he is. He's going to rely a lot on Nunes. I think mm -hmm. he plays, he'll play a bit differently to, to the way Klopp played. He's going to change around at times, play the long ball, and that's where Nunes will come into it because that's his game, you know. So we'll see what happens. I mean, Salah is getting near the end of his uh, playing days at Liverpool, I would think. But um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I thought they were bringing one or two, but nothing. Unlike Man United, no. they've spent £140 million pounds yeah. on players, brought four players in. Is it going to change their fortunes? I'm still wary at the back. They brought the licht in. Yeah. Is it going to make a big difference? Only time will tell. Now, let's talk about the two sides at the top, Arsenal and City. Uh, firstly, are you surprised at the lack of activity from a Man City point of view? Because some would be thinking five, six players coming in, but it's not the case. No, you know, Man City aren't like that. Yeah. Uh, if, if you look at it, they, they sold Alvarez for 80 million, made a good profit, and yeah. they brought in a, a youngster uh, from, from French football, Savio. Obviously, a, a straight uh, replacement for, for Alvarez. Yeah. I think he's wise because he's got, he's got a big squad already. He doesn't want to mess it around too much. Uh, they'll always be there, there, there about. Um, you'll probably find, as we go along, before the, the, the window closes, you'll bring a player or two in. Arsenal, again, brought in two players, two or three players. I think Arsenal this season are going to push them even closer. Yeah. Um, in actual fact, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later on, but Arsenal are bought wisely as well. But those teams are always going to be there and thereabouts. I have to talk about the uh, three incoming teams. Um, Leicester, they've been there before. Ipswich, same. But some of that special club. Over the years, they've um, given to yeah. the quality of English football with the uh, production line they've had. This has been going back many years now. But uh, those are the three sides that are back. Well, uh, you know, I think they've learned from that now, that they're going to give players, or not give players, or sell players off all the time. Mm. They have to. If they want to stay in the league, that's what they, they have to do. Those three teams have got to come in now and just stabilise and just survive the season. You know, when I say that, just stay in the Premier League this season and then take it from there. This is the hardest thing to do when you're a team that's just been promoted. Yeah. It's just say, uh, the hardest thing to do. Having said that, there are going to be teams that are going to be struggling along with them. Yeah. The Everton's, they sold the Nana, who I thought was their outstanding player last season. They haven't bought many in. Mm. Wolves have also sold a few. Neto is gone. Yes. It's, you know, that's a big, that's a big blow to them. And they haven't bought in. Normally, the Wolves bring in a whole lot of players. They haven't done that. So I think they're going to struggle. Brighton have brought a few players in. So all the, the smaller, when I say smaller teams, the teams that were from third last upwards have brought players in, except, except for Wolves. So yeah. I think they're going to struggle. West Ham's another one of those teams that have brought players in. And a lot. Look, we know they're in Europe, but they've also bought wisely. Aston Villa, what about them? Villa, brilliant as well. Yeah. You know, done the same thing. Brought a whole host of players in. And uh, I think 
I think Villa will be in the top four this season, funny enough. And Villa? I'm going to say that, top four. The, uh, improving from last season, you Improving mean? from last season. Where they were so close to getting to the exactly. top four. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's talk about, just talk about Ipswich and Altafford Wilby as one of the three newcomers. <laughs> they've already, they've just started off their new season half an hour or so ago against mighty Liverpool. Now, that can't be easy. Um, coming back to the top flight against a side yeah. the size and stature of Liverpool, but is it a good time to play Liverpool with the new coach, maybe a new way? I think it's a very good time to yeah. play them, you know. If you're going to get a point, <laughs> this is the time to do it. But, you know, I, I can't see that happening. I think Liverpool will, 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 will be far too strong. As I said, when it has started, they'll be far too strong. But mm -hmm. Arsenal Wolves? You mentioned Arsenal Wolves, they're signing. I, I, Arsenal's I, at home, by the way. Yeah, Arsenal, the Wolves have, haven't brought in anyone. They're going to struggle. Arsenal will win easily. Yes, well, City as well, I think they'll win easily. Here's one game I know you and I are looking forward to later on uh, today, early evening. West Ham against Aston Villa. That's a mouth-watering clash for me. It's a great one. Yeah, yeah. Watch because I'll tell you what, both teams are bought in wisely. Both mm. teams are, are looking for, for better than they did last season. Mm -hmm. This is a very difficult one, you know. I think a draw will be on the cards on that one. Draw or leaning towards Aston Villa. Yeah. But this is going to show you where both teams are for the season. And these two teams are going to take points off some of the top teams this year. Well, there's a huge one to look forward to tomorrow. Chelsea against Manchester City. But before we talk about the fixture itself, let's talk about Chelsea. They've been a huge talking point over the last two, three seasons, either from a coaching point of view, a personnel point of view, where they're holding in players and letting a whole lot of players go. What do you think of Chelsea and stability? Right now. Once again, new coach, you know, so you're going to have to give him a little bit of time to, to establish himself. Look, they brought in a few players. As um, per normal. Yeah, as per normal with yeah. them, you know, I, I saw a, a little tweet on, uh, on on Twitter the other day on X saying they got a triple decker bus. Yeah. To get this squad to jail is going to be difficult. Mm. Um, that's why I think in this first game, I think City will win. But Chelsea will also be there, you know, they're always going to be there and mm. they're going to do well. But I think City, because of where they are established, will get the better of them in this one. Mm. Then Monday's an interesting one. Leicester, one of the new boys again, they're up against Tottenham, but they're at home again against Tottenham, which is... We haven't spoken about Tottenham. Yeah. So brought in Solanke. Mm -hmm. um, a very good buy. They didn't have a striker last year. If you think they, have, they played Son, they played a false nine type thing. Solanke is an out and out striker. Is that what they needed? Um, We'll see. I think, uh, again, they'll be one of those teams that'll be there, thereabouts. Uh, hopefully, um, for, the, for the Spurs supporters, that they do do that. Now, there's always the curious case of Newcastle United. I say the curious case because over the last three, four years, there's been a huge buy-in, huge expectation, an impressive season, and a big follow-off in the season that followed, which was last season, where they underperformed, so to speak, um, according to expectation. Yeah. So they are up against Southampton. Uh, later on today. What are your thoughts on them? Good start for Southampton. Yeah. You know, because if you look at Newcastle, um, they haven't bought any players in. Surprising. Surprising, yeah. Very surprising. Yeah. They've got the money, but they haven't bought the players in. We had to remember that last season they had a lot of injury worries. They're starting off with one of the centre backs out injured right in the beginning of the season. Um, I just feel that they haven't they haven't brought players in, which is a big surprise to me, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, They'll always be the team that you're going to struggle against, especially at Newcastle. But a title contender, not for me. Well, so the long wait of the uh, new season start is finally over. Uh, while we hear what's going on in England with Shane McGregor, he'll be back next week, of course, to continue to break down the uh, season as it goes. Exciting times over the next 10 months. Stay with us here on Game On as we now break down the local game on the other side of this with Jerry Swasana. <laughs>